With the prices of groceries just skyrocketing lately, let's talk about ways to save money on groceries. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie and I am a money coach. When I help my clients with their budgets, a category that I really help them fine tune where you can really find a lot of extra money typically is on groceries. So I've been talking about meal planning for quite some time and I'm not gonna talk about it today. Instead, I'm gonna link two videos on meal planning at the end. Let's talk about different categories where you can save money by stopping food waste. So the first one, let's talk about leftovers. Leftovers have a tendency to get pushed to the back of the fridge where things tend to die. <laughs> have you ever found something and you're like, I thought we already went through that and it's bad, right? I have a friend of mine who reached out to me <laughs> to vent because she made chili for her family, but because everybody goes into the fridge and you're just taking things and moving things, the chili got pushed to the back. And by the time that she remembered that she had made it and she had leftovers, it all went bad. She had to throw it all out. And what a waste, right? That could have been at least one to two meals right there. I have these tips to help you save money on leftovers. So the first tip is I take a note, either a post-it, a piece of paper, put, a, put some tape on it, or they actually sell scotch tape that you can write on and it won't smear if someone else touches it. So whenever I make something and I have leftovers, I usually will take a note and just tape it on top that just says the date that I made it because you don't wanna ever have a debate and be like, did I make that on Sunday of last week? Did I make it when? When did I make it? And then if you eat it and it went bad, now you're gonna get sick. So I like to label things, it takes 10 seconds. Literally, you put the date, you stick it on and you put it in the fridge. Secondly, so many leftovers, again, die in your fridge. So what I like to do is every three days, I'll go through the fridge and I'll see what leftovers weren't eaten. And if no one wants them, I put them in a freezer bag. And what I do is I put the leftovers, even if it's for one serving, even if it's just for one person, because if I'm running around and I have errands to do, I would, instead of stopping at a fast food place where I'm wasting money and eating something that honestly I'm not going to enjoy, it's going to be fattening for me, I can instead heat up that leftover that I saved because it was only one portion. I eat it and I save money, right? And nothing went to waste. So the way that I do it is I put it in a freezer bag or I have a vacuum sealer too. But if you don't have a vacuum sealer, just put it in a freezer bag, squeeze out the air and just make sure that you lay it flat. Then label it what it is and when you made it. Very important to know what it is because if you're gonna freeze anything, you wanna know when you pull it out what exactly it is because things tend to change color sometimes in the freezer or you forget what you froze to begin with. And that's it. I freeze it flat. So I freeze it. I don't put it somewhere where it's going to get, you know, sideways or get a little clumpy. I freeze it flat. And the reason why I do that is because it's going to save me so much room in my freezer. Once things are frozen flat and it's completely frozen, you can stack them like books and save on space in your freezer and save money by not having anything go to waste. Also regarding my leftovers is instead of just putting it anywhere in the fridge, I have a shelf that I've dedicated in my fridge to leftovers. It's not a big shelf, which is great because if I had a big shelf or just put them anywhere, more things could go bad. So instead I have a small shelf, like, it's like this big, and that's where I put the leftovers. That's exactly where my family knows where to get it. And I can, as soon as I open it up, I look and I don't have to go through things to see what I have to freeze after a few days. It's right in front of me, eye level. I take it, no one else wanted that. You know what, I have something else to make tonight. I'm gonna freeze this for another time. A leftover you've had today that you're just sick of, maybe like you've had it two nights in a row and you're sick of it or your family's sick of it, a month down the line is a brand new meal. Now let's talk about ingredients, especially for me, it's vegetables. If I have any fresh vegetables or anything in my pantry like onions, potatoes, apples, that I know is not going to last long because I did my inventory, right? It took me two minutes to just do a quick inventory in the fridge. So then I turn around and I do a quick inventory in my pantry. If I have any potatoes that are about to go bad, I know that that night or the next night, I'm gonna make something that has potatoes in it. 
if there's apples that are gonna go bad, I know for a snack, I'm gonna pack for my daughter some apples. You know, put a little sauce or, my, my daughter actually likes whole apples, but I, I know some kids don't. But I slice it up and that's her snack. If there's any celery, if there's any onions, peppers, or anything like that that's about to go bad, I literally chop them the same size that I would put them in a regular recipe. Again, I put each one in a freezer bag, I label it, and I put it in the freezer frozen flat. And again, once it's completely frozen, I stack them like books, save room in the freezer, and nothing went bad. I can't tell you how long I've had jalapeno peppers <laughs> in my freezer. Last year, it's crazy, but last year I ordered from curbside um, pickup. I wanted just two jalapenos. They thought I said two pounds. <laughs> the bag I got of jalapeno peppers, and my family doesn't like things spicy, so all I did is I thought I thought if I just put this in the fridge, they're gonna go bad. Like and it's and it's still money wasted, right? So instead I chopped them up, I, I de-seeded them, I chopped them up, and I put them in a vacuum seal bag. I can't tell you how many times I'm making guacamole or I wanna add some jalapeno peppers to any meal, kind of give it a little bit of a kick. I just literally unzip it, I take the piece that I need, I add it to my recipe, I zip it back up, lay it flat again, put it back in the freezer you can save so much money and you won't have anything that goes bad, especially something that you know you're gonna use in every recipe. I use onions in so many recipes. I must use onions like three times a week. If I have onions that go bad, I'm like, I should have just taken a few seconds to chop them up. If you don't want to sit there chopping onions or peppers or whatever vegetable you have, use a food processor. Use one of those little mini choppers. Most of us have some kind of gadget that'll help us out. Just put it in there, process it, put it in the bag and freeze it. And that way, again, nothing goes to waste. And you also are speeding up the process of another recipe because when I want those onions or those peppers, I don't have to chop everything and then, no, everything is completely done. You take what you need, you put it in the recipe and then the bag goes back in the freezer. You save time and you save money. If you guys are enjoying these tips so far, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I share money saving tips and motivation almost every day. And I'd love to have you guys come on and chat with me and let me know what else I can do to help you save money. Being organized can save you so much money as well. And it's not just with groceries, but let's talk about it. My family and I have a system because I came up with it. We have an Alexa in the kitchen. And so anytime that we see that we're out of something, instead of us trying to remember or them, them reminding me of it so that I can note it somewhere, they literally put the list on Alexa. They'll just say, Alexa, you know, add garlic powder to shopping list and that's it. So that shopping list goes on my Alexa app on my phone. So as I'm doing my groceries, which I do online and I do curbside pickup, as I'm adding things on my list, I look at the Alexa app, I click on shopping list, and I see what I need to buy because we're already out of those items. That way you're not guessing, you're not overspending. It's a clear system. But if you don't have an Alexa, for at the Dollar Tree, what I used to have before I had the Alexa is I had a notepad with a magnet strip in the back, stick that onto the side of the refrigerator, and then my family knew when you're out of something, write it down. If it's not written down, I'm not gonna get it, and then you're gonna be out of an ingredient or a snack that you like. Another way is we always carry our phones with us. So just make a note on your phone as you go through your week and you start running low on things. So that way, again, you don't overspend. By having a clear system, it can really save you money. And my last tip is to have a recipe that can kind of clear out your fridge. One of my favorites is my zucchini fritters, which by the way, if you'd like to see that recipe, I'll link my week of vegetarian meals that my family didn't even know about video at the end. And that recipe is one of them. Another recipe that I love are any kind of soup. If you have squash or butternut squash in your pantry, butternut squash soup. I use every vegetable that I have on hand to come up with a meal that I can use so I can use it all up, cut back on food waste, so that way I don't have to freeze anything. I'm gonna use everything fresh while it still has life left. I've used a, a celery, like the limp ones, in soups, and you can't tell the difference at all. So there are ways to cut back on food waste, and having 
good recipes that are in your back pocket can really help. If you know that now is the time that you want to start managing your money, having a budget that works for you, paying off debt, accomplishing your goals, and still enjoying every day, click the link down below and schedule a call with me. Let me show you how my one-on-one -on -one money coaching program can help you accomplish every goal you set for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on that bell. And I'm going to be sharing more money saving tips on groceries because with these prices that are so high, every little tip helps. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're going to enjoy these two right here. Have a great night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.